busy. So that's why uh, I, you know, I just ask uh, the UFC to you know just keep me busy because uh, you know I need to I need to be keep busy. I need to be in camp. Otherwise, I'm gonna do my head. So uh, you know that that's it. No featherweight has defended a belt past the age of 35. Alexander Volkanovsky got brutally knocked out by Islam Mahachev on October 21st, 2023, and now he is set to fight a ferocious knockout artist. It's crucial for athletes to prioritize recovery and receive true medical clearance before resuming competition to mitigate serious risks. The fear of someone coming back to fight early after a knockout revolves around concerns for their health and safety. Returning too soon increases the risks of sustaining further damage to the brain, potentially leading to severe long-term consequences like CTE. Days leading up to Volkanovski vs Islam 2, Volk stated that he had already been training, preparing for a fight although his physique didn't match what he was saying. Now Volk is saying he wasn't prepared for that fight and he was drinking every day for a while before he got the call to fight Islam a second time. You know what I mean? It snapped me out. I was drinking every every day um, for like three, four weeks. Like honestly, like I don't even know if I've got that. Like that's that's unheard of for me. Like every day, like I've I've never ever done that. Um, but I was just like, oh yeah, you know, I wasn't training too much. Obviously, surgery and just trying to help out in the house. I'm like, oh, I may as well have a couple of drinks. You know, they're going down good. And, uh, you know what I mean? And, yeah. So it was uh, it was going down too too good. So that doesn't sound like someone who was already prepared. And it's either he tried to encourage himself right before the second Islam fight knowing deep down he wasn't ready for that fight or he's just making excuses right now but Volkanovski is not a fighter who comes off as someone who makes excuses for anything an overconfident fighter now Ilya is no way comes off as an athlete that lacks preparation in any way I truly believe he's not just relying on his skills and confidence alone He's a hungry fighter who knows what it takes to get what he wants. Ilya has had the status of a UFC champion in his Instagram bio for a while now, and he is at the moment making a movie titled Road to the Title or something like that. There's something to be said about his type of confidence being exactly what it is needed in order to walk into that octagon, but at the same time, this is either about to be a historic example of confidence and belief in yourself if he pulls it off or historical meme character if he doesn't. Alexander Volkanovsky, an Australian mixed martial artist, is known for his well-rounded fighting style. He typically employs a combination of aggressive striking, effective wrestling and strong grappling skills. Volkanovski often utilizes opponents with powerful strikes and takedowns. His ability to adapt to different opponents and situations makes him a formidable competitor in the UFC featherweight division. Volkanovski is the greatest featherweight in my opinion and his achievements has made him somewhat of a perfect fighter knowing when to utilize every fight skill as he sees fit. Ilya Tuporia, a Georgian mixed martial artist, is known for his aggressive and well-rounded fighting style. He has a background in wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which he effectively integrates into his fights. Tuporia often showcases strong takedowns and grappling skills, aiming to control his opponents on the ground and searching for submission opportunities. Additionally, he possesses solid striking abilities, including powerful punches and kicks, making him a versatile threat in the UFC featherweight division. Overall, Tuporia's relentless pressure and diverse skill set contributes his success inside the octagon. 
Alexander Volkanovsky has one of the best fight IQs I've ever seen, and his skills are more than enough to win this fight. Will he defeat the odds to beat Ilya Tuporia, who is one of the most confident and hungry opponents we have ever seen? Volkanovsky vs. Tuporia. Styles make fights. Who do you got?